Hello Divination and welcome. We have a brand new mini series for you and this time it's about how to use Divi's new animation effects. We'll be exploring creative ways on how to create awesome looking page sections. These animation features are fun and easy to use as you shall see in this mini series. Now when you use the visual builder you can actually see all these animations come to life right before your eyes. So join me as we explore the power of Divi animation features. Okay, so before we continue with part four of our mini series, we need to go through the things that we're going to need in order for us to achieve this design. So all we're going to need here is some CSS code. And if you'd like to use the CSS code and follow along step by step, I will include a link to the post in the show notes below. So let's continue from where we left off. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a brand new section. So I'm going to click this plus button here, add a regular section, and we're going to choose this column structure right here. So I'm going to click on it. But before I add any modules, what we need to do is to add a background color to the section. So we're going to come over here to background, and then I'm going to click this plus button here to add our background color. Now I'm going to paste my, my hexadecimal value for my color. Next, we're going to come over here to the design tab. Now here we need to add some padding to the top and the bottom of this section. So we're going to come over here to spacing, add our padding top of 80 and padding bottom of 80. This is so that uh, when we add our modules in there, there's enough breathing space. Now that helps make our design look brilliant. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and save. Right, so we're going to come over here to this uh, do this first uh, part of the column, click this plus button, and for this we need to add a heading. So we need a text module, and I'm going to select it here, and I'm going to paste my text in here. Now, now the reason why I've added this in uh, HTML format is because when I come over here to our design tab, instead of going to the text to customize the text, I can just come over here to the heading. So I'm going to click the header text, and we're going to start customizing this. So our font is going to be Leto. We're going to make it bold. And we're going to adjust the size to about 39. In fact, 38. And then we're going to come over here to the header text color and add white to it. So we can read it on this dark background. And then over here for the line height, we're going to set this to 1.3. Next, we're going to come over here to spacing and add a custom margin bottom of 20. Like that. And then we're going to go on to our animation. Now for the animation, we're going to select slide. And then we're going to make this slide from the left. For the animation intensity, we're going to set this to 16%. So that's all we need to do. So let's go ahead now and save. Right, so now that we have this heading, it needs to go well with some text uh, below it. So let's add another text module. So I'm going to click this plus button here search for my text module and select it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste my dummy text, the lorem ipsum text, and then we're going to come over here to design, click on text, and now let's customize this. So I'm going to start with the text font size, bump that up to about 18. Our text color, we're going to set this to light so we can read it. And then next we're going to come here to the text color and we're going to add a bit of transparency onto this. So I am going to add my RGBA value between the brackets like that. For our line height, we're going to set this to 1.9. And then we're going to come over here to spacing and add a custom margin bottom of 40 pixels like that. Okay, so now that we're done with the settings of our text module, let's come over here to the animation and animate it. As the top one, we're going to select slide, slide from the left. And then for the animation intensity, we're going to set that to about 8%. So I'm going to save. Okay, so what we're going to do next is to add a button below this text module. So I'm going to come over here and click this plus button. And I'm going to search for my button module and select it. Okay, so the button text, we're just going to call this download all. And then we're going to add a dummy link. But in your case, you need to add a specific link, which leads to either a page on your website or an external page. So for demo purposes, I'm just going to use this uh, dummy link. Next, let's come over here to our design and do some customizations. Now, as you can see, if we click here on button, there's nothing much for us to customize. So for us to access all the customizations, we need to make sure that use custom styles for button is activated. So I'm just going to click on yes. Right. So let's start off with the size. So we're going to set the size to about 15. 
And then the text color, I'm going to paste my hexadecimal value in here, like that. And then we're going to come over here to button background color, click this plus button to add our color. And I'm going to paste my color in here. So for our uh, button border width, we're going to set this to zero because we don't really need a width for that. Next, we're going to come over here to the border radius. Now, we need to look, make our button look like a pill. So in order for us to achieve that, you just need to drag this until you start getting the shape. But for our case here, we're going to set it to 65. Okay, and then for our button letter spacing, we're going to add a 1. We don't want to make it too much. Okay, so 1 is fine. We're going to make this bold and all caps. Right, so next we're going to come over here to spacing and add our padding. So we're going to start off with 10 to the top, 30 to the right, 10 to the bottom, and 30 to the left. And then now it's time to go into our animation to animate our button. So I'm going to select animation. So here for consistency, we're going to choose slide. We're going to make the slide to the left. And then for the intensity, we're going to set this to about 16 pixels, 16%. And then finally, we're going to add a glowing effect to our button. So we're going to come over here to our Advanced tab, click on Custom CSS, and we're going to paste the CSS code like that. So now we can see we have that glowing effect on our button. Now, if you'd like to use the CSS code, it can be found in, in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So now that we have all our settings in place, I'm going to go ahead now and save changes. Now it's time to add our first blurb. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, select my blurb, give it a title, and our title here is going to be Divi. And then we're going to come over here to image and icon, and we're going to select yes for that. We're going to choose our icon, so I'm going to select it here. And then we're going to come over here to our background, click our gradient, click the plus button to add our first color. So I'm going to paste my color in here, like that. Add my second color. I'm going to paste it in here like that. And then for our gradient direction, we're going to set this to 140 like that. Now it's time to go to the design tab. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set our icon and image and change the color to white. So as we can see here, our, test is aligned, our text is aligned to the left. We need to make sure that it's, it's aligned center. So let's come over here to text and align it to the center and also the color is set to dark we need to make it light so that we can we can read it on this dark background so next i'm going to come over here to my header text we're going to make it bold and all caps we're going to set the letter spacing to 10. next we're going to come over here to our spacing and add a custom margin to the bottom of 12 percent and then we need to add our padding so we're going to start with the top so we're going to add 40 and then the rest needs to be set to 30. Now it's time to go to the animations. So I'm going to come over here, click animation. And the animation type we're going to choose here is fold. And then for the delay, we're going to set this to 200. And the animation direction needs to be set to left. So what we're going to do next is to stylize this and add a border radius of about 6 pixels. So in order for us to do that, we need to come over here to the Advanced tab, click on Custom CSS, and paste the CSS code into the main element. Now, as I mentioned before, you can access this code on our post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. And then finally, I'm going to add my CSS code to the blurb title, like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and save. So now that we've spent so much time customizing this blurb, we can save time by cloning this. So I'm going to come over here, hit Command C or Control C on a PC, and then I'm going to paste it by pressing Command V or Control V on a PC. Okay, like that. And then we just need one more. So again, I'm going to paste it. So now we have four. Now let's go in and customize this. So I'm going to come over here, click this gear icon to access my module settings. So here our title needs to be set to Bloom. So I'm just going to highlight this and paste my text like that. Okay, and then we need to change the icon. So because Bloom is our email uh, plugin, so we're going to come over here to our icon and select our email icon. And here it is. And then next we need to come over here to the background and change our background colors. So I'm going to start by, by replacing my first color here by pasting my new color. And I'm going to paste my second color. 
Now let's go to the design tab and adjust our animation. So all we have to do here is to set our animation direction to down. Okay, and then finally, we're going to come over here to the advanced tab, click on custom CSS and replace this CSS code in the main element with this new CSS code like that. Now, what, what, is, what this has done is it has just added a different color for the glow. Okay, so now that, now that this is done, we're going to go ahead now and save changes and move on to the next one. So again, we're going to click the gear icon to access our settings. So this one is going to be extra. So again, I'm going to highlight my text and paste my text in here for extra. And then we're going to come over here to image and icon. And I'm going to choose our icon for extra. And here it is. Click on background. Click on our first color. I'm going to paste the value of my first color in here. Click the second one. Paste it again. Next, we're going to come over here to our design tab, click on animation, and this time our animation direction is up. And then we're going to click the advanced tab and add our custom CSS. So as we did before, I'm going to get rid of the old text, old CSS, and paste my new CSS code, and then save. And then finally, we're going to work on the last module. So I'm going to click the module settings. So this is going to be Monarch. So I'm going to paste my text in here. We're going to come over here to our image and icon, select my speech bubble, click on background, and I'm going to add my first color, add my second color, and then we're going to come over here to design, click on animation, and this time all we need to change here is the direction, and we're going to set this to right. And as you can see, the glow does not match our design here, so we need to go into the advanced tab, click on custom CSS and replace our CSS code with this. And then we're going to go ahead and save. Now let's, let's adjust our row settings. So we ideally here we need to add a custom width. So we're going to come over here to our row settings, click on design, sizing, and then we're going to click on use custom width, select yes. And we're going to make sure that this is set to 1366. Use gutter width, and we're going to reduce the spaces between our columns to about two. So that's looking much better. Next, we're going to come over here to spacing, custom padding top. We're going to add 80, zero to the right, 160 to the bottom, and zero to the left. Next, we're going to come over here to our column one padding and set this to 140. Right, so I'm happy with all these settings. I'm going to go ahead now and save. Okay, so what we're going to be doing next now is to add a new row. But to speed things up, we're going to be using our designed elements here, cloning them, and just making customizations to that. All right, so I'm going to click this plus button here to add our new row. I'm going to add a single column. I'm going to close it for now. And then I'm going to come over here to our settings, click on design, sizing, we're going to make this a custom width as before, set this to 1366. And, and then for the custom cutter width, we're going to set this to 2. And then we're going to go ahead and save. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this. So I'm going to come over here, duplicate it, and drag it into position. And then I'm just going to change my text by highlighting it and pasting our new text. So we need to go now into our settings. So I'm going to click on our module settings, click on design, animation. So this time we're going to do something different. We're going to set this to flip, animation direction. We're going to set this to center like that. And then for our animation intensity, I want to set this to 70. Right, and then uh, what we need to do is to come over here to our text and make sure that this is centered. So I'm going to select centered. I'm going to save. Next, below this uh, headline here, we're going to have a button. So I'm going to come over here again and clone this and drag it to the bottom like that. We're going to go into the settings, change our button text, and we would like this to be centered. So I'm going to come over here to design alignment, center it. And then I'm going to come over here to our animation, set it to flip and animation intensity let's set that to about 70 just like the top one and then for our animation direction we're going to set this to center 
Right, so let's save. And then finally, we're going to add our last row. So I'm going to click this button. We need two equal halves. I'm going to select that. Now, before we add anything in that, we need to go into the settings of our row. So I'm going to click this gear icon, click on design, sizing. And then we're going to come over here to our gutter width and set this to two. Okay, so this is where we get to use the elements that we designed earlier on. So before we do that, I'm going to save this for now. Come over here, duplicate this and drag it into position. Into the first half like that. And then let's go into the settings and make our adjustments. So I'm going to click on the module settings. I'm going to rename this, call this builder. So I'm going to paste my text in here. Click on background. Click our first color. I'm going to paste it. Click our second color. Paste it. And as you can see, the glow that we have here does not go along with our design. So we're going to update our CSS code. So I'm going to come over here to advanced, click on custom CSS, and then I'm going to paste my CSS code. Now, before we exit, there's something that we forgot. We need to update this icon. So let's come over here to our content, click on image and icon, and we're going to select our icon like that. And then we're going to go ahead and save. Next, we're going to duplicate this, drag it into position, update our text by pasting it in here. And then we're going to come over here and select our gear icon to access the module settings. So before we forget, as we did before, I'm going to go ahead and add my icon. And we just need a cloud icon for this. And here it is. Click on background. Click on our first color. I'm going to paste it. Click on my second color. Paste it. And then as we did before, we need to update the glow that we have. So we're going to come over here to advanced. Click on custom CSS. And paste the new CSS code. Like that. So that's it. All we have to do now is do save and let's preview and take a look at what we've just designed. Right, so I'm going to save my page, exit the visual builder, and then we're just going to scroll through. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.